Muslims are determined to push their religious doctrines on the American people. Muslim cab drivers in Minneapolis have several airports, have kicked out blind passengers with gui guide dogs because guide dogs are unclean in Islam. A Somali Muslims on welfare have demanded that their free food comply with Islamic requirements. Muslim groups have demanded that their women be permitted to wear full face and body coverings, even on driver's licenses. And Muslim pressure groups like the Council on American Islamic Relations have pushed to force Sharia law on our courts and law enforcement, with some U.S. judges insanely agreeing to comply. A New Jersey judge recently cited Sharia law in refusing to grant a Muslim woman a restraining order in a horrible case of sexual assault and abuse because her husband said his abuse was acceptable according to his Muslim beliefs. In Texas, a group of unlicensed Muslim judges have set up an Islamic tribunal which they say will resolve disputes in law, family, and businesses using, of course, Sharia law, not the U.S. Constitution. Well, some states are fighting back. Sixteen U.S. states have introduced legislation to ban or restrict Sharia law since 2013. The list was compiled by the Radical terror-linked Council on American Islamic Relations, which meant it too condemned the states, but to most Americans, it will bolster these states as somewhere they would want to live. Ironically, the Council of American Islamic Relations claims they oppose Shia law in America, so why is it that any time a state wants to ban Shira from inside its boundaries, this council fights it and cries Islamophobia? Because they want Muslims to only be subject to Shira law, not our laws. Herman Carroll is, an, is a director for the Council on America's Islamic relations. Uh, he brazenly said, if we are practicing Muslims, we are above the law of the land. Well, the following states are saying, no damn way. Alabama became the latest state to ban Sharia law when voters overwhelmingly passed a measure adding an amendment to the state constitution. The Council on American Islamic Relations said that the motion was vir virulently racist and outright hostility towards Muslims. Alabamians apparently didn't care what they said. The list of all 16 states are Alabama, Arkansas, Florida, Indiana, Iowa, Kentucky, Mississippi, Missouri, North Carolina, Oklahoma, South Carolina, Texas, Virginia, Washington, West Virginia, and Wyoming. And hopefully in 2016, the list will get longer. It all depends on us. We need to tell our state representatives that we want Sharia law banded in our states. Do we want this or this?